I'm sorry about the quality of this video. I'm filming it on the uh, webcam on my uh, laptop here. It's kind of a last minute video. Um, just wanted to uh, quickly let you guys give a little update. Uh, last week I did a, uh, a five, ser five video series on uh, basics of shell scripting and they seem to be very popular so I will be doing that again in the near future, probably January after the holidays. As far as the next couple of weeks, uh, I will be continuing the MLT, the video editing from the command line videos, uh, as well as some of you may have thought I had abandoned this, but Pop, uh, the video game I've been working on, haven't worked on it in a couple of months, baby, stuff like that, life, uh, kind of got in the way, but uh, obviously I'm going to finish that. We're pretty close, and um, we'll have some video tutorials uh, and releases of that in the near future, as well as the final rewards going out. If you were uh, waiting for a reward, I apologize. Uh, it's been a long time. I meant to get them out a long time ago, but if you're getting a USB flash drive, wanted to put a copy of the game on there, you got to finish the game before I put a copy on the USB drive. Um, so that's what's been going on, stuff that's going to be happening in the near future. Also, uh, I myself, the last month or so, have been hitting really hard uh, C and Java, which are two things I've wanted to know for a long time. Uh, I'm mostly a script guy. I really have been wanting to get into uh, binary languages, stuff that's compiled, and C and Java are two of uh, what I would consider very powerful, strong languages. Um, and so once I get a little bit better at those, I will be doing some videos on them, some basics on them. And I'll probably be doing uh, uh, kind of like I did last week where I did a week long series on a topic. So I'll probably do in the future a beginner C uh, week or two weeks. Uh, and then I'll do a series on beginner Java. And then I might do a series on uh, GUI interfaces with C, uh, GUI interfaces with Java. Um, and uh, maybe some networking stuff with those languages. Um, so definitely uh, look forward to that because I'm learning and I'm enjoying. Uh, if these are things that interest you, C, Java. I've also been hitting up JavaScript quite a bit lately, so I might do some tutorials on that. I've done a few in the past, uh, so I'll probably do some more of that. So C, Java, JavaScript, uh, and shell scripts. Uh, if these are all things that you are interested in, be sure to let me know below, comment uh, just on what you're interested in. Obviously, I think most of my viewers are mainly interested in shell scripts, mostly bash, and of course I will always be doing those because that is uh, um, one of my favorite things to use. So. Uh, I thank you all for watching, all my subscribers. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to uh, keep up to date on these videos that are be coming out. And um, of course, everything's put into playlists, so check out my playlist for topics that interest you. So once again, comment, 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 uh, let me know. Uh, and um, some people misunderstood in the past about comments. I don't like people asking questions, technical questions in the comments, and I still don't. But it's still okay to comment. I do read some of the comments, uh, at least on my more recent videos. Um, but uh, but to try to avoid asking technical questions in the comments, go to my website for that. Uh, join the IRC channel. Uh, and I've said this in the past, when you come into the IRC channel, this isn't like a 24-hour support chat room. If you ask a question, it doesn't mean you're going to get an answer right away. Uh, me and other people are in Nather all day long. The, the IRC channel is a place for you to come hang out for us to discuss stuff and help each other. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if you have a real technical question on Bash, you're probably better off going to the Bash IRC channel. My IRC channel is there for us to help each other, but mainly for a place for us to hang out and talk. So if you come in there, plan on hanging out for a while, not getting an answer after two minutes, and then getting mad and leaving. So thank you for watching. Visit filmswhychris.com, Chris with a K, link in the description, and let me know what you think. Have a great day. Oh. Also, one other thing uh, that I've been working on. Um, some of you may have noticed in the background of some of my videos, I have a arcade machine uh, that I actually, me and a friend built like 10 years ago, and I've swapped the computer out that's in it a number of times. And a few of you have asked about it. Uh, if you're interested in learning about that, I can go over the uh, details of how that works and how to build one yourself. Um, why I was going to try to use a Raspberry Pi in there and why I ended up not using a Raspberry Pi in my setup, but how it may be a good option for your setup. Um, but uh, 
building an arcade machine isn't cheap. It's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars easy, um, but you should be able to do it well under a thousand dollars and actually buying an arcade machine with some games on it. Uh, I saw one in the magazine the other day. It seems like they're uh, at least three thousand dollars. So building one yourself is definitely an option. I'm not too handy with my hands, so that's why I had a friend actually build the, the cabinet itself, although that was 10 years ago. I probably could have done it myself. Nowadays, it's gotten a little bit better. I have some tools myself, but babbling on now, if that's something you're interested in, let